Hello everyone, Sanket here. Welcome to another tutorial uh, and another video on molecular dynamic simulations. Uh, in the first three parts, you must have seen what is MD simulations and what are the different steps. Today, we'll be looking at the last step for uh, MD simulation, that is your MD production run. So, let us begin. So, we saw how actually your um, equilibration steps uh, which they work your NPT and your NVT steps now we'll look uh, go for the last step which is your production run so let's click on next that is your production MD let's see what the steps are for your production run yeah um, so if you see there are again the same things okay the same two steps which is there as we saw in your NPT and MDP and if you see here it is minus F MD dot MDP that means there's another MDP file okay so we click on here okay um, this is your MDP file all right so it's the same thing what we saw here <clears throat> now uh, if you see there's 50,000 uh, so in this case sorry um, in the uh, previous cases uh, there were 50,000 steps which was your hundred uh, picoseconds okay um, here it is uh, 500,000 or 5 lakh which is uh, close to 1000 picoseconds which is 1 nanosecond. Um, so like this you can have, uh, so basically a 1 nanosecond is equal uh, to 1000 picoseconds and your 1000 uh, nanoseconds is equal to 1 second. Uh, what actually these picoseconds or nanoseconds what they actually mean here is uh, how will a protein behave? So in this case, it is one nanosecond or thousand picoseconds. So how will that protein behave in that thousand picoseconds? Okay, I'll, I'll repeat what I said again. How the protein will behave in that thousand picoseconds? So that much, how much? So that is the level of uh, you can say sensitivity. Okay of your molecular dynamic simulations what is carrying out. So in 1000 picoseconds, how much is that protein going to move? How is it going to wiggle? How is it going to go here and there? Okay, is it going to um, uh, 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 change its shape? Okay, change its location. So that much level of sensitivity is carried out in your molecular dynamic simulations. Okay, uh, so one nanosecond um, will take a lot lot of time I mean if you're doing it in your normal uh, PC or you're doing it in your normal system it might take uh, probably it, it might take about one day okay uh, 24 hours to complete this one nanosecond so um, for simplicity I will be um, uh, just because I want to do it fast so uh, I'll be reducing these number of uh, steps so that the number of picoseconds is less um, if you are actually want to actually carry out uh, uh, for any system, I, I'll, I'll suggest one nanosecond is good. If you are doing it on a trial basis, you can decrease the number of picoseconds here. Uh, when you are decreasing the number of picoseconds, that means you have to just decrease the number of um, steps here. All right. So you decrease the number of steps, it will decrease the number of picoseconds. Remember, okay, 500. 500 steps is equal to one picoseconds okay so remember that so based on this you can do the calculation but if you're actually running any ram system i think one nanosecond is always good okay um, if you want to run for higher nanoseconds then uh, i suggest you go for a high performance computer i'll talk about that uh, in a little bit okay but let's start with this so uh, you know the drill okay which we had done for the previous things you copy it so uh, I'll create the MDP file here now uh, is the same thing so you, like nano space uh, we are creating an MD file here so MD dot MDP I'll paste and then I'll save this MDP file
All right. So once this MDP file is finished, now I'll start running with the MD MD run. GMX space gromp minus F. Now I'm going to call the MDP file that is MD dot MDP minus C your NPT file. So remember we had the last step before this was NPT. So the NPT dot grow file has been called. Minus T is NPT dot CPT file. Okay. Minus P is your topological file. P here stands for your parameter. Okay, that's why it's the minus P is your topology file, the parameter file, and minus O is your MD dot TPR. You can name it anyhow. All right. So now uh, the MD dot TPR file has been uh, created. Now we have to go for the last step. That is your. Uh, we are in the last step. So the last step actually in your um, MDP. That is GMX space MD run space minus FV space minus DEFFNM space MD dot TPR. So uh, sorry, uh, MD. Okay, and now we. Run. So now this has started your MD. Okay, so uh, I have run it for a hundred uh, picoseconds. Okay, I told you I didn't want to run it for one and a second. Uh, so now the the final step. Okay, of our MD has been already started. Your production run that is for hundred picoseconds. Um, I think once it gets over, I will uh, come back. Has been over. Uh, my MD file has been created. All right. Um, so let me just show you on VMD how my MD file looks like. Let's go to the file, new molecule, browse, and then we'll select the grow file from the folder. Uh, the location. So mine was in documents and lysosome and water. Uh, there I'll be selecting the grow file. That is your. Uh, uh, md uh, dot grow. so yeah it's md dot grow, md underscore zero one dot grow. so i've selected it now it's time to select the simulation file okay, so this is the file which has been loaded you can see the protein and the water uh, now it's time to upload the simulation file the simulation file is your xtc file so md dot xtc i load it again now i click on play you can see it move, but I think the water molecules are causing a hindrance in the moment. So, uh, let me first remove the water molecules so that we just focus only on the protein. Okay, so just select only the proteins so you can only view the proteins. Okay, good. Now let's see how the simulation runs. Okay, so um, let me click on play. Yeah, can you see the protein move? Yeah, this is how the simulation runs. Uh, the protein is uh, moving uh, because of the water molecules which is there. This is MD simulation. If you keep it for a, so if you keep it for higher uh, uh, nanoseconds, there will be more number of simulation which will take place. Uh, this was for 10 uh, picoseconds. For higher, it will be more. Okay, so this is how MD simulation works. Uh, we can understand and analyze the protein in water molecule okay, using MD simulation. Okay, so the reason you see the proteins moving or the atoms or the molecules which is there in this protein moving is because it was there in the system, on the, in this basically in this water system, and that is why it was moving. So this is a dynamic movement. Okay, what you saw in what we saw in the definition, the definition says it 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 there is a dynamic movement for a particular amount of time. So in this case, it was for 100 picoseconds. We could see this uh, dynamic movement. Whew. So this finally completed your RMD simulations. Okay. Uh, so we looked at the six steps for MD simulations. Your first is your topology file, uh, your creation of the box, and adding the solvation molecules. The third step in which you added the ions, the chloride ions. 
Um, next was energy minimization step. After that, there was uh, the equilibration step using NPT and NVT, that is at constant pressure, temperature, and constant um, volume temperature. And the last was this MD production run. Okay. Um, hopefully, you have understood how an MD simulation uh, steps work. Sorry, how an MD works using uh, Gromax. Um, we will meet next time uh, with another tutorial and another session also a um, special thanks or a big thanks to my student uh, pallavi for creating that tutorial of uh, gromax so um, thanks to her again and uh, bye bye <laughs>